from the knife park. Frankie, I don't know why I said knife park. It kind of is a knife park, though. When we're here, I guess? Yes. Yeah. Who else has <laughs> ten knives at the park? <laughs> at, at least, yeah. All right, guys, we're checking out the Steel Wheel Knives Sedge today. Kara Sedgwick. Go for it, yeah. Is what I want to call it. That's fine, that's fine. As it turns out, sedge is a real word. It really is. I didn't think it was. I, I thought you were confusing it with hedge. Yeah. It, well, it's maybe similar because it's a type of plant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. New for 2020 steel wheel. You guys have seen a lot of steel wheel knives on our channel. Yes. Yeah. Small and large. His and hers. Oops. I messed that up. There we go. You can flick it way better than I can. Well, it's the action is still kind of breaking in yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But this is the gray version, and that's the black version with yeah. different color backspacers, which is cool. Very cool. Steel yeah. wheel. Steel wheel is often known to do the the. Uh, Pop of color. Pop of color, yeah. Well, yeah. and then a lot of times they'll do opposite too. So like this one has the black finish and then the satin finish. So it's kind of nice that way. Yeah, four varieties total. Yeah. Okay. Actually, what is the price? We may as well get those out of the way. Um, Surprisingly, they're not that much difference in price. Okay. This one is $74.99. Okay. $79.99. Well, $5. Yes. That's fine. But I mean, usually it's like $10 more for... It's really not <laughs> worth even saying. It's a little less. <laughs> it's a little less material. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Geez. So what are you getting for that? All right. Well, this one is three point four inch. No, this is four inches. That one's four inches. Frankie, Jeez. I, <laughs> I was gonna say I know four inches when I see. It. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that'll make the video. I know three point four inches when I see it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. The four inch. Yes. Big old knife and a three point four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> By when you look at them next to each other, this one looks small. Yeah, but it's actually kind of average. It is kind of more average. Isn't well, it? three point four—that's even bigger than most of our knives. Ours are usually about three point two five. Is what I think our average. I think is. so. Three point two five, three point three. Yeah. Uh -huh. So kind of average that way. But yeah, what are you getting? Well, long pointy. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, it's a full flat grind on that drop point blade. It's a spear point. Spear point blade. It's a modified drop point spear point. You can call it a drop point, though. <laughs> Anything's a drop point these days. Definitely. Well, yeah. here, technically, let's see here. It does look like that. Yeah, we're on the chart right here. Right? Ben's chart. I would say it's more of a drop point than it is a spear point, that's, actually. That's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I just call it as I see it, you know? <laughs> I, <laughs> I like to point things out incorrectly. Okay, quality is good. That came with no blade play. They're they were centered just fine. Yeah. Um, in some use, been breaking down some cardboard. This thing is awesome. Yeah, it is. It's a nice size. It's very ergonomic too. Yeah, it, it is extremely ergonomic, isn't it? There's no hot spots on it either. So I mean, yes, it is a bit more expensive for a D2 blade. I just will just call out the elephant in the room. Okay. But you can just feel that like the quality is just a little bit nicer too. Uh, it is. It's got Just a refined, a bit, yeah. kind of a finished uh, feel to it, doesn't yeah, it? it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it feels really good in hand. Like, this one fits me really nicely. Let me see this one. I haven't handled this one as I much. I like him a lot. That is nice. Yeah. I that mean, is her, really nice. Kara. <laughs> oh, Sedgwick, yeah. Yeah. All right, with the liner lock there. Very good. Good access. If it looked yeah. like if it looked like we were going to cut each other just now, it could have happened. I wasn't even looking. That's well, how safety. You had the blade open, and yeah. I was bringing my hand down. Mm. Anyway, let's get to the details on the sedge, though. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, D two blade. So you know the edge retention is going to be great on these. Mm -hmm. Okay. No issues there. I feel like the black stone wash might not rust as easily. Usually no. With that no. little bit of a finish to it, it makes it less rust. Well. Oof. And depending on who Rusty. comments, Rusty. they'll tell you they don't have issues with... Right, of course, blah, 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 blah. I don't have any rust issues. With even a satin D2. Right. Okay. Yeah. I do. No, the blades are good that way. They're good, solid users, and they are very slicey. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, do you want to check the blade stock thickness on those? Oh, I, don't, yeah. okay. I don't think we wrote it down. I I'm, did, but I'm going to check it anyways to gotcha. make sure it's correct. Gotcha. Uh, I'm curious if they're the same on each. Okay. I'm guessing average. 0.12. Exactly average. 0.12 is average. You're average. Jeez, that's such Point an insult. 0.121. Okay. <laughs> it's exactly the same. <laughs> we'll say within the margin of error. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me check the handle thickness. 
0.505. I, I mean, I don't want to overuse the word, but... Average. Yeah. <laughs> is it the same on the no, large version? No, he's though? thicker. Is it? Yeah. 0.55. It five. is. It is. 5.55. Five, 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 okay. Five. So large and up need apply. And they are right or left hand carry. One thing steel wheel does a lot of times mm -hmm. is that... See, it goes with the... Oh, angle. the contour? Yeah. Yes. Yep. So usually they will have the actual dedicated left hand clip in the box. And you what? We're checking this right now. Yeah. You what? I think we should change clips. Oh, this one to that one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. There we go. I think we have tools in the car. But you know, put the black clip on the black one and then the silver yeah. on that. I don't know. It might look cool and actually change the hardware out too. Stay tuned for I'm that. I'm just so, I always want to customize. I like it. I, I like uh, having the options that way Frankenstein too. Frankenstein them. Frankenstein, sure. Frankenstein yeah. them. Okay. Well, if there's no issues on the knife though, it, it is on washers, so it's not the smoothest in retraction. Right. You know? And I think it's getting better too. Just with, we could lube him too, and it would probably yeah, be better. Yeah, and that could make a difference. Sorry, By the way, quick knife tip out there to all you guys. Don't lube your knives when you first get them. You want them to break in and you want that wear to occur. When mm -hmm. you when you actually lubricate a pivot, say, um, you're you're gonna you're gonna hinder that actual wear. Dork alert. <laughs> hey, I know some stuff when it comes to lubrication. It's actually the field of the yeah, tribology. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just I'm just saying. Anyway. Well if you guys didn't know it's G ten also. Right, right. You can kinda see it in the light. Sculpted G ten. Yes. You got some striations there. And the black has a blue and then gray has a red and they don't come in other options. No, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Looks are good. Yeah. Well, okay. What else are we going to say about this uh -huh. though? 75 and $80. I think that's our uh -huh. only real complaint on the knife. Ah, there you go. Thank goodness. Jeez. There you go. Well, you, you wristed it. I know. I had to get into it more. It may be priced a little high when yeah. you compare it to other knives. What did we bring to compare to? We brought two other, well, we brought two, two other, other pairs. Yeah, yeah. Recently did a video on the CJRB Centros. No, this no, is the Feldspar. No, these are Feldspar. Feldspar. Jeez. Yeah. No, we got it. You can't it. get good help these days. You can't get good help. Oh, my no, God. No, I okay. can't. The Feldspar. Yes. Similar overall. It's a thumb stud knife, so it's, you know, it's not different. a flicker, but it's... It is different. You can flick a thumb stud. Yeah. Look at me. Look at you. This one's on bearings too, so the retraction mm -hmm. is smooth. And these are like less than 40 bucks, aren't they? That's the problem. Yeah. I think these are 35 and 40 or... I forget. In that range anyway. See that video? Yeah. Um, and then we have the big lighters. Yeah, and, and not comparable so much looks wise, but I mean... Kind of in that little bit of price. Well, we just like the his and hers, like the small and large, large. Small and large. Yeah. Whatever. What do these go for? 50 some? 50 and I think like 50. <laughs> yeah. I want to say like 58. It depends on the time of day. I don't know. I always have to point out my edge. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's from the KME. Here is the Centros because it does have the same blade shape. And it's oh, about right. the same size. Okay. And the price on that, I want to say, yeah, less than 40. Not positive. See, guys, I'm not lying. What? I, you got some rust? Yeah. It, it. It, was, mm, it was just right there. Well, you needed to save it so you could prove yourself. Well, they saw me picking at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You but, can still um, see it. Look. See? See? I'll point it out. I right there. I see it. Yeah. All right. But back to these knives, Frankie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The only real complaint about the sedge is maybe it's priced a little high. Yeah, it's it is. it's good quality. It's it functions nice. It it functions excellent mm -hmm. in use. It's one of these knives. I mean, I, I tend to like bigger knives when it comes to real use. Okay, um, mm -hmm. as opposed to carrying. Okay, I, I love to carry a smaller knife, but you sacrifice some usability. Two point nine four seven is the little one. Interested on this. Four point two three one. Okay, so. so I mean a little heavier as expected, but not mm -hmm. bad. And then you could say on the lighter side for this one. Yeah, I don't know. It does feel really nice in hand. I like the chamfered edges, and it feels pleasant. well. 
and that does take time and then time is money okay right to, to do all that sculpting for the g10 so yeah all right it is cool overall nothing but good things for the knife yeah i like it so do you geez. think she's happy married to kevin bacon <laughs> <laughs> i don't know any of this hollywood stuff i mean that's who's that's who well if she Kara likes Sedgwick bacon is kevin she bacon's has to wife be good okay right all right i mean we have bacon pretty much every night <laughs> just too taking this in different too much, directions too much info <laughs> yeah all right no i think that's everything maybe we'll go for a walk the bugs are a little no uh, they're nice less these days they're, yeah they're nice the cicadas are coming out they, hear it guys yeah people from the midwest will know that sound yep yeah all right thanks a lot for joining us